I have a really good sweat mustache right now. <laughs> I've got a sweat beard. <laughs> We don't have an intro. This is our intro. You know how it is. We are talking about our most requested topic yet. Yes. Okay. People come to us all the time, especially Crystal, because she kind of handles these types of things. Uh, she talks with a lot of people online. That is like the number one thing that people keep asking for. And it is what women want. What do we want? <laughs> what, what, do we want? want? what do we want? What do I want? want? What do all these what ladies want? What do these bitches want? What do these ladies want? What's such a mystery. I've actually, because yeah. we've had a lot of time to think about this. And is there anywhere that you would like to start? Okay. I was thinking about this. I'm like, what did I want when I was younger? Okay. And that was very conditioning, what I wanted. It was yeah. like a, 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 a husband and to get married and a white picket fence and yeah. what, what I was sold. And then as I got older, relationships. Like you had experience. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. A marriage, a divorce, and all of that. Like right now, the I, I'm going to be honest. I never really took the time to even ask myself what I truly yeah. wanted during those periods. Yeah. It was just like, I want communication or I want to be loved more. But too vague? How? Yeah. Yes. There wasn't any detail. Right. Right. So, but now there's detail. You got a list. I've got a list <laughs> of requirements. I think we've kind of, there's like a couple cop topics that I wouldn't say that we're trying to avoid, but I think that we wanted to like get ourselves a little bit more comfortable with being on camera, figuring out who our audience was and shit like that Yeah. before we kind of dove into topics that are, which is what I'm kind of trying to say is that I feel like who on the internet is not telling people what they should or shouldn't want. Exactly. Like I feel like the internet is so saturated with all sides of the aisle saying you should want this you should be that if you're not this then you're not a real man if you don't want this you're not a real woman yep. like there's no shortage of people telling other people mm -hmm. what they should or shouldn't want um in a partnership right and i didn't want to like add our voices to that before yep. we found like the right language to communicate these ideas i don't know if you like feel the same about that 100 percent, baby our intention is not, I think, our intention is not to generalize. Like no. the thing is, is that, okay, let's just go. Okay, Canada's like, how many people live here? Let's see how well I know my Canadian stats, you fuckers don't ever give them to us. But I think it's uh, 33 million. And we go, okay, what do you guys want as Canadians? I think that there's probably gonna be some like universal truths. I think there's mm -hmm. gonna be like, that's like, yeah, we, we, please, no war, like, water like I feel like like the basic necessity yeah. like sort of like the basic fundamental needs is what everyone's going to kind of agree on 100%. and then from that point it's a crapshoot yes. like it's just everyone's going to want different things yeah. so to say like what do women want okay mm -hmm. or to have the like no no diss to the people out there that are doing this kind of content but to mm -hmm. have the like audacity to like go online and be like okay here's what women want or you know what this is what women want and be all angry and sassy about it it's this like this is how to make a woman squirt <laughs> really didn't work for me <laughs> didn't work for me i thought we were going to talk about emotional spaces but i like this <laughs> i like the direction that just randomly went in making a video about what women want we are just basically going to say what we want yes we can't tell everybody out there what women want there is no one what women want no there just isn't no. there's you have to decide like what kind of woman do you want make a list of yes. like just you know, like musts <clears throat> what are your must-haves and then you're like mm, i can like put up with that yeah. you know yeah and oh, like, yeah. what are your compromises? Yes, because that's inevitable. It's, you, in a partnership, that's what it is. Yeah. It's car, a compromise. It's yeah. a constant compromise. It's the biggest spiritual work you'll do is being in a, in a divine union partnership. Communication for us is essential. Essential. So when like our, top of the list, it's there. It's like, it ha it's a must. It's, it's a must. It's a non-negotiable. Uh, you need to make effort and mm -hmm. talk to me yes. and communicate with me. And I want you to want to listen to me okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna throw my two cents out okay my pennies that we don't even have anymore in canada fucking canada <laughs> one cent i can't believe we fucking had a one cent okay so g give me your give me your established okay. my two cents yeah your your pennies i'm gonna drop the pennies and the pennies <laughs> are i truly do think 
women want to be seen and heard okay and so for th these are these i would call a foundation okay? okay so each woman they have to strand off and, and communicate to their partner of what that is to them but do you think what that does that's, it mean i feel like feel... also men want that too of course they but do but we're mean. not talking about men right now but that's we'll just do generic. one on men, but then that's right? just generic like everybody wants to be everyone wants to feel that do you see what i'm saying i do appreciate that i get what yeah, you're yeah. saying but right? i don't you think you can stretch it's... off like they're like little octopuses right and you can just like, oh no legs. got octopuses <laughs> back <laughs> Right? Like I had to ask myself those questions. Like, how do I want to be seen? Right. How do I want to be valued and, yeah. and honored? Yeah. You know, like what does that even look like for me? And that is somebody communicating yeah. and having a little bit of a banter with me. Somebody that touches me. I love affection. Mm -hmm. I love affection. I love being touched. So these are the things that you love that I would, that I would want I, yeah. as a woman, as a woman, I want to feel protected. I want to feel supported. I want to feel like I I'm like, I'm safe, you know, and that's going to look really different for everybody, for everybody, mm -hmm. of course. So that's like the whole thing with this conversation for us is that yeah. you can't really give a an answer. What no, there's you, no straight answer. What you can give is advice to women to figure it out. Number one for themselves, like yeah. really, truly take the time because I, I, I was never conscious to take the time. Mm. Like I thought I knew what I wanted because, and then the, you're, you're getting shoved all this shit yeah. into you constantly. Yeah. Like, this is what you want. This is how it's supposed to be. You want this dress. You want this car. You want this kind of man. You want this. Right. And so you're, you have that, and then you're like, well, do I want that, or do I want... I think I kind of want that. But, okay, so... Okay. Here's one thing that I was thinking, okay? When okay. I was... when I Same thing for you, okay? I When you brought this up, you're like, babe, I think we should do an episode on this. A lot of people keep asking me, and da, da, da. I was like, yeah. okay. And then, of course, the whole spiel that I had at the beginning, which was like, oh, I don't really want to be another voice on the internet being, this is what women want. Yeah, like, and, I, I, and I agree. I already kind of... Like, I do know the things that I want in a partner, um, but I had to really evaluate, like, where did that come from? Yeah. Where did that come because from? Because that's what I was thinking too. And I was yeah. like, well, when she was picking Nathan, did she already know what she wanted when she was younger? Because I'm like, I didn't really know what I wanted when I, I was I, younger. I did. And I think one of the reasons in this is like, oh, look, he's so cute. Oh, oh. it hurt oh. us. It's like, oh, fuck, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't like animals, but I do like, I do like chipmunks and I do like squirrels a little bit. They're like, like furry rats. Don't hate on rats. I don't. I don't. I live downtown. <laughs> don't remember? hate the rats. I think that, again, because I actually had to like really put some thought to it. Because I already mm -hmm. know, like how you said, like the list. Compile a list. Mm -hmm. I've already, I could, I could tell you my list. I had to really think where did that list come from? And outside of like you said, with like experience, living your life, obviously that plays into it. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, and it was kind of like this like amazing moment where I was like, oh my God. I think a lot of the, and I, and I think this really might be like women who are fortunate enough to have like a very consistent whether it's your biological father yeah. or not your bio like my father's not my biological father but he's been my dad my whole life yeah um I think he really really was a top influence for me like I need I need intelligence yeah I need somebody who can handle and when I say handle my like, drama it's like you're so perfect at handling my drama my dramas pretend it's not even real no, i basically not. just have like a little dramatic fit for like five seconds and then Nothing. i'm fucking over it unless they get emotional about it yeah. and my dad would never get emotional about it even yeah. when i was like in the throes of teenagehood and my dad was my hockey coach and i was the worst person to him but he has like like stockholm syndrome and doesn't remember it like i really like when i can just like emote and I can just be myself and have it land in like a nice safe place. But I realized for me that, and I, like I said, I think for a lot of girls that are lucky enough to like have a really beautiful, like male presence in their life, who isn't just like a dad that, and they bless their hearts, but like a dad that like provides and a dad that's like, okay, what, what is this drama? Oh, there's a wasp in the car. Oh, it's a sand wasp. They're kind of mean. So yeah, oh, what yeah. do you think about that? Do you think that like father figures can really affect um, like what women want? And then maybe yes. they have like a yes, atrocious, because we know you guys are coming here for the juicy shit. A lot of you probably tapped out by now. You're like, oh, they're not, tell ta not talking enough shit. But like, do you think that like women who severely lack father figures, which uh, unfortunately is the like, it's 
becoming the majority that in like the western world we're, we're so like, weirdly it's fatherless like, it's like, yeah it's like an epidemic yeah it's, so it's no, like what it's does weird. that do like what is the, like how does that influence a, a woman's choice it's pretty like of what they want in a relationship yeah, i feel like yeah. it can't not affect it of course it does yeah but you know what right? i love about having a really like not so wonderful um biological father is that growing up because when you're little your brain is like very simplistic right mm. so we tend to, that's why we love like disney movies and stuff because there's a clear-cut villain and there's a clear-cut good guy yeah. so when i was younger i literally was like everything my biological father does is in the bad guy category and everything that my dad does this guy fucking loves us this bug is, is it, look at he's right here like dude <laughs> it's not he's that gonna, exciting in here he's, 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 oh, open the door he's gonna die he's oh, gonna no. fucking die oh no you have last flown your flown your flown you've in. last Flooning. flown your last flight yes what was i saying what was i saying before we that? were talking about our well it would have been my brother's dad and your biological oh dad. right that, so those were the first, yeah, so, first shit men in our life so because everything that my biological father did like again i was younger i had a, like a little girl's brain everything that he did to me was bad guy and yeah. i'm like anybody who has any kind of traits like him yeah that's not going to be my guy yeah. anybody who has traits like my dad that's my guy you yeah. know because he was like a white knight to me yeah so yeah i would say like what i want as a person very much mimics what my my father showed me through like love and support and communication and just completely yeah. accepting me the way that I am. I've obviously learned other things throughout my experience that I like that have kind of been added. Like my dad's like, he's basically like a boomer. He's like a Gen Xer. He's not like yeah. amazing at communication. So sometimes I'll roast him. So that is, that is something that I feel like I really need. And yeah. I feel like most women, like I said, we do most have women. friends that yes. don't want the communication but yeah. i think most women do i think most women do yeah i think if it's if you're a betting man yeah bet on women want communication yeah not all but majority of women that's what they do like they say they call it like the hens are in the kitchen clucking away yeah. talking you know it's just yeah and like i love i love deep communication so too. do i i think just even being like just even just that that whole thing of just for being in somebody's presence and just feeling this 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 wave of like <sighs> like yeah. for me I, connected like yeah you feel connected like, through your communication yeah like and just even being in the room with them they make me feel calm like yeah. I feel like I can breathe and yeah. I can like relax and but you know like there doesn't even have to be sometimes words you know yeah. it's just it's an it's a it's an energy yeah it's a thing but I like to talk, so that won't happen. <laughs> I think a lot of men would like me to not talk so much. Okay, so maybe men, a lot of men associate like, like talking. Okay, okay, okay. We yes, don't have any women viewers, all right? Yeah. Let's pretend we do. I'm talking to like the 3% of the women that watch this shit. And that is maybe when you're talking to like your man, and again, not trying to be another voice on the internet, but just this is just a thought that came to me. like. If you're trying to create like lines of communication and like deep communication and have him open up more, make sure that like the the conversation's like positive. Yeah. You know, if you're like, I get it, there's gonna be baggage, there's gonna be stuff for sure. But mm -hmm. how about like tackle that once you guys have a good foundation of communication yeah. together and you connect again? Because maybe men feel uncomfortable it's like it's with always conversation. An attack. Because like it's always yeah. an attack. It's always like, well, and I did this and blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. it sounds more like moaning because I do instead hear of a, that. Of and again, I'm not trying to shit on my friends, but well, I do hear listen, that with them sometimes. You know what? I can actually, if I reflect on it, like I would have conversations with my ex yeah. and it would always end up in a moan because it was just something because there wasn't that foundation so i would want to have a conversation and then i would get frustrated because i'm like he's not listening to me he's not communicating with me and then it would become an uh, then it yeah. would become a moan like you never listened to me and then nah, 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 nah. yeah so, so it, it's this ew ew but assuming that there's a wonderful foundation of love yeah and like or maybe it's a kind of a newer relationship and you want to like really 
potentially make it last and go somewhere yeah then this is what this conversation is about this isn't about being a dead-end relationship yeah right where you're like holy exactly. fuck i need to get out of here yeah you know but it's like I do I do see that you and, and I have been guilty of that before where it's like oh you're finally like talking and all of a sudden this like shit comes up and you're just like yeah so so maybe like that's my opinion for my like three percent of our viewers that are female watching so, this so what can so I guess even for our own selves because yeah. like I'm just like I'm actually reflecting on my on my that my big past relationship and I'm like hmm you feel like, like you did that like a lot at the end yeah because i really wasn't see, feeling valued or seen like yeah. i would put on lingerie outfits and yeah. i wasn't seen babe yeah like that's horrible yeah it, like it fucking hurt long-term relationships are work insane yeah they're, it's they're the like, biggest spiritual work you'll do babe they're crazy the biggest spiritual work they're you'll crazy do. they're like they're <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> so they're so doomed it's like you have to like work so tirelessly to make them sustainable and to make them like work forever it's it is not easy people that are married happily for like decades incredible amazing we give you an award it's gonna Stars. post right here can i do this there we go yeah. there's your star two thumbs up good job guys good job here's another thing i was thinking of so i also think that okay i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it say it society culture the way yes. that we live and i really think that there is a very big disconnect between what modern women yeah want and what modern women need okay okay again please understand i'm generalizing i don't even want to say the next word if people don't understand how much i'm generalizing on this okay yeah. so i think generally 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 women want to feel like like assuming that they're um heterosexual women yeah and they want to be in a relationship with a man they yeah. want to feel like women when yeah. they're with the men yeah. they want to feel all the things that like they want to feel like they're totally in their feminine essence when they're with mm -hmm. a man okay but how the fuck is that possible with the way that society is structured nowadays we have very little community right like i love my immigrant friends like they're constantly doing stuff with their families like their parents are constantly watching their kids so that they can go on vacations to like dubai and shit like that or go back to like visit relatives or stuff like that there's a stronger sense of community i find in a lot of like immigrant families yeah. that i i'm friends with in this country and i feel very envious of that so we have really no community anymore yeah and so right away it's like you and your partner are like we are everything to each other. You're you're your best friend. You are raising children together. You're splitting the bills. You're splitting the chores. So what you actually need as a modern woman is somebody who is not necessarily the same as you, yeah. but completely your equal, right? It's yeah. like, okay, they should probably make about as much money as me or more, right? Everybody would love to be with somebody rich. <laughs> Um, they have to make enough money. They've got to help with the kids. They've got to help with the chores. Everything's equal, yeah. equal, equal. So I feel like what we want, kind of like, again, generalizing, yeah. and what we actually need to function on day to day, there's a huge disconnect. Yeah. And I feel like until we can start having really fucking honest conversations about the truth that that is, yeah. we're not going to get anywhere. It's too confusing. Because what you feel like you want, right, is like, yeah, but you just... I don't know. And you can barely, like, they can barely ever even tell you what they want. Yeah. Right? Like, that's the whole no, premise of this. No, that's what we this. were I was saying to your husband. Yeah. He's like, I was like, oh, haircut looks good, babe, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, what are you girls doing today? And I said, oh, we're going to, so what women want. And then I laughed. And I'm like, which we really don't know. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, very confusing what women want. Yep, yep. So, it's really detailed each human woman is detailed differently yeah it's different get to know her ask her actually to get to know herself um and get to know each like do it together but yeah like even yeah. if you think about like all of your friends and and yeah. you have a really like eclectic group of friends yes. right like they're from like all over the world all, over all the world. different types of like ages and races and yeah. cultural backgrounds like all of them are gonna want different shit too but i do think like generally at the end of the day 
I think the thing that we can like agree on, I think that we're kind of like edging towards for this is like women really like communication. Communication. And that might be a lot of communication. Communication. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> communication. And it might be a lot of communication or it might be minimal. Communication. Communication. That's, 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 that's. I feel like that's what women want. That's our thing. Communication. Generally. Generally is communication. Communication. That's it. We're, we're not going to add any other fucking bullshit. No. No. It's just, let's keep it super simple. Yeah. Because I think that one, it's, it's, it's universal. It is. That that's cosmic shit right there, baby. Communication. Me, 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 me. So on that note, um, dare I even pose this to the fucking <laughs> into, the world? into YouTube. Like we've said this before. I love our real audience, but I might love the bots more. <laughs> I know. They're amazing. They say the craziest shit. They are amazing. I they're love them. So I would press back to them. Oh yeah. I do. I'm like, oh they're I'm like they're they're an entity as well. I'm like, why mm. not? I'm like, I'm going to give them as much like this. It's, it's an energy. Still. It's impressive though, because it's like, yeah. it scans the video and will say really specific things. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. Like it's weird. Okay. So the question that I would pose, okay, is what do men want in general terms? So if you are a man, yeah. um, which you will be because you all watch our show. <gasps> Somebody told me the other day at a pool party oh. that they kind of wanted to be like, that they said that they think in general yeah. this is another a gentleman general friend thing. friend yeah. of mine yeah, okay, of okay. ours yeah yeah and said that they kind of just wanted to be like be told that they're patted. doing a good job yeah like to be yeah patted on the back more or less i could not agree more i could not agree and we more talked either. about that a little bit i could not agree more either generally we really need to up our game for that like if we you do. are with the male partner we do you need yeah. to like remember that yes maybe you guys have baggage maybe they've wronged you and shit like that but when you want to be in that space forever you want to be in shitty shitty like i hate my relationships shit like relationship mildly stage forever why don't you initiate the good stuff starting i tell that to like well number one i tell your husband all the time how amazing he is because he's like super supportive of me and what i do yeah and it's like for me that's such a big thing to support all the men in my life so you just start throwing like yeah. those loving compliments at your partner your husband whatever yeah because think of how much you did that in the beginning yeah you know you did that a lot and then we can shit on guys for being like well, well they don't compliment me. he doesn't bring me flowers yes. but like what are you doing yeah come what on ladies doing spice it up spice it up a bit a little ball tickler <laughs> Okay, so we're going to summarize. We got to go to football. We're still fucking and football. We got to feed the kids. Like we're it's, we're late. Like look at that 59. They're going to be eh, they're eh, going to be starving. Starving. In summary, <sighs> women generally communication good. Communication. If you're one of the few women on planet Earth that listen to this show, just and give your man give your man a little extra Give your man a little extra compliment. Yeah. Tell yes. him he's amazing. Make him feel good. Grab his cock and look in his eyes and be like, ooh, fuck yeah. And just walk Could away. Just walk away. Just grab his cock. Look you into his eyes. You guys actually should do that. That would like, be Like, really, it'd be the best. And leave in the comment, like, what he guys, did. Guys, would you... Come guys, on. Guys, would you be sad Come if that on. happened? What's happening men, here? Men, would you be sad? There's just no way they'd be sad. Okay. No, no outro. This is how we do it. So... Bye, bitches. Slags. <laughs> Slags. <laughs> put your seat this. up. Just put your seat up a little bit. Watch. Oh, no. You ninky nonky doofus. <laughs> you ninky nonky doofus. That is the biggest diss ever. <laughs>